Hey y'all, welcome back to Octave Lessons with myself. <laughs> um, I want us to look at transfer functions. Um, we have these two equations here. I want us to present them using um, series, parallel, and feedback. Um, I won't look much into the negative and the positive feedback, just feedback in general. So, so here's our equations that we have. Uh, so let's start with series. So now that we have series, um, if you have done process control, you have learned that um, your series functions, the block diagram can be presented in this format here. Um, so what if you want to find this the transfer, general transfer function using Octave? I mean, manually you can use pen and paper and go through the last step. But what if you want to incorporate Octave, right? So let's start with series. These are the two functions. I'm going to manually load them onto my Octave command window section. So I'm just going to say series because that's what I'm working with right now. I'm going to start with PKG load control. Perfect. This step is very crucial now. Um, so mostly if you don't um, incorporate it such functions, you might not obtain an answer. You might obtain an error. No spelling error, perfect. Um, so G1, as we can see, is TF, open bracket, square bracket, 6, 12, close the square bracket, comma, square bracket, 6, 30, 24, 40. Perfect. Um, I want it to appear so I won't um, use any semicolon there. Nope. Um, let's see if we didn't make any mistakes. Perfect. There we go. So here's the first um, transfer function, the G1. As you can see, same way as on your um, the equation that we initially started with. Now let's find G2. Guys, you have to be very careful with our tape. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So Perfect, there we go. And it is two, six, mm -hmm. square bracket, comma, another square bracket, six, two, 54. So this is more or less how you do present um, your transfer function on Octave, close bracket. I'm not gonna incorporate any semicolons because I want my uh, function to appear. I wanna see how beautiful it looks. Look how stunning it looks. Perfect, we got it right. So now that we have our both transfer functions, what I first want us to do is, number one, let's find the um, general overall transfer function when our system is in um, series. Great, so you're gonna say sys is equal to series, make sure you, there's no spelling error, G1, uh-huh, G2, make sure there's no spelling error. Octave is very sensitive. Perfect, look how beautiful it looks. It looks so stunning. So now I wanna, so what basically Octave just did is it found the overall transfer function for us if our system is operating in series. So now what happens if our system is operating in parallel? I want to manually do everything so you guys can see the catch. So we are now working with parallel. Your octave is very sensitive with spelling. Do not mind me. Yep. A crucial step to use when you're working with parallel. Um, I didn't use this on my previous example. Um, if you want to get an answer on parallel using octave, you have to use this one. Yeah, PKG. Load signal. Perfect, no spelling errors. So our first transfer function is G1. I'm just gonna copy and paste it out here. Paste, there's our G1, our G2, perfect. Now I want us to find our system when it's operating in parallel. So all you have to do is say SYS equals to parallel. Make sure the spelling is correct. Parallel, G1, G2. Make sure the spelling is perfect. Everything looks good from my side. Enter, perfect, so Octave just found the system when it's operating in parallel for you. And what if our system is in a feedback mode? So all you have to do is, I'm just gonna um, assume that you've already computed your control, your signal, your G1 and G2. So I'm just gonna say sys, um, feedback, 
G1, G2. Perfect, and there you go. So we have when it's in series, where's our series function? When it's in series and parallel and feedback. So now, what if you are advancing on Octave and you want to use your editor section? So I just manually did the command windows. Let's look at the editor section. So on your editor section, you'd incorporate everything you'd write when it's in series, if it's in parallel. Sorry about that. It's supposed to be parallel. And if it's feedback, I didn't incorporate the negatives and positives. So if it's feedback, so this will have to go away. Yep. Series, parallel, and feedback. So all you have to do is run the file, just CLC. All you have to do is um, input everything onto your octave and run the file. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen, series. Parallel and feedback. Um, if you have time, manually solve this using pen and paper and just compare your answer with that which you get on Octave. Thank you so much for watching. Tell me what else you need from my side and I'm more than willing to help.